Alaikum salam. If it changes the meaning, then this is a big problem. If it doesn't change the meaning, then there's no problem, inshallah. Especially if a person doesn't have the means to pronounce and articulate some letters. So, for example, in certain uh, cultures, they can't say dal, they say zal. So, they will probably say, uh, Is there a dal in Fatih? <laughs> Okay, there's not a that, that, that I can think of uh, in fact, yeah. but uh, bad and the that's another example. Well, a they can't do bad. So, these kind of things, inshallah, does not change the meaning. However, certain mistakes can change the meaning. An amta, an amta, that changes the meaning instead of an amta with the aim or an amtu. Or ihdina, they will say uhdina. So certain things. I mean, I can't say that what's happening here is, you know, something which is in, invalidating the prayer or not. But what I am saying is that the person who doesn't do the fatiha correctly runs the risk of having the salah not accepted. And uh, obviously, you know, that's um, it's a pillar of the salah. It's something which is really important that we get correct. The Messenger of Allah said, "La salah." There is no salah. لِمَنْ لَمْ يَقْرَ بِفَاتِحَةِ الْكِتَابِ The person who doesn't recite the Fatiha of the book, the Quran. So I think it's important that we uh, memorize it correctly and pronounce it correctly to the best of our ability. And if a person has tried and they still can't, you know, there's still mistakes and they still can't get 100%, then لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسَنِ اللَّهُ وَسَيَا اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى will not hold this person to account. But uh, so hopefully this answers the question. Certain mistakes are detrimental. Certain mistakes are not. And even if those mistakes are really bad and severe, as long as the person is trying uh, and they try their best, then inshallah the salah is still valid. Allah